joint on the last shit. Live in the hills, but it still get a spread. Started with a layer, but it still reinvest it. Fear how I fear, then you feel less a blessing. I just want the lesson, I just want protection. I'm up and I'm down, but the sound like progression. Mama never plans if you brace for perfection. Aye. Finger to the down, hold it down, we gon' get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got your watches coming in in November 2nd, 2020, and the stock market is definitely going to go crazy this week. You have not only the election on Tuesday, the final day or the final impression the market's going to make, but you are also going to hear from Jerome Powell in the Fed on Thursday. So very interesting timing, but this election and a lot of the drama surrounding it is about to come to an end. Some people say it's about to come to a beginning, but pretty much we're only going to get two days before all votes are cast and then it's going to set into motion a whole different timeline. However, where we're positioned with the market, we've been talking about this. This is a very crucial position. So with two days left, these next two days, Monday and Tuesday, are going to be very important. So I hope you're ready. But we have a lot to talk about. I have a strategy for this. We also have earnings. We have the Fed, everything else. So I want to go about this play. Earnings plays, I'm looking at how I'm even going to set up to be able to play the election and everything following up that and then the other plays and everything else we're looking at. So let us not delay. You guys know what you need to do drop your thumbs up on the video make sure you subscribe and if you don't know we are live monday through friday 30 minutes for open it's the first link in the description and it has been in the comments we better see you there in the morning it's free 99 it costs you nothing to join youtube.com slash the stock market you can post the play see the plays watch the watch us come to life and yes this is the week that we have all waited for so if anything changes drastically and you need the fastest news in the world that is us baby and the most important thing you need to do post your watches below let us know what you're looking at got any plays comments remixes any Thing. Post them below and source that info. Shout out to Chad, baby. And please do not forget the random account generator. So every Sunday on this watch list that you're watching, we ask that you post a random option play in the comment section below. We arbitrarily buy it. We've had this account since the beginning of the year with $500. We're buying random YouTube plays and we want to see the performance of random comments in the YouTube section. So post a play, strike price, keep it under $100, preferably with time. And thank you for participating. So right off the bat, as far as tomorrow there's a lot we still have earnings i have all of those outlined it is going to be a little bit more random than last week with some of the companies and how it's going to play out so we're going to watch that but what we're really watching for here is going to be the market and how we play out with the election again we were coming off one of the worst weeks since march that was last week the vix the dollar everything kind of started popping off if you guys remember it was a very interesting last few days even then if you put it in a context this is almost even a 10 percent drop this is its own little mini correction in a way. So the key from here is where do we close leading into the voting and the election? So that's why tomorrow is going to be very, very pivotal or pretty much Monday and Tuesday. You're going to have the final impression for the election, the earnings follow, follow through, but the key is the market vote is just as contested as everything else. So pretty much all it takes is one big move from here to really determine where the market is standing. So again, we keep bringing this up. We talked about it a lot last week, wherever the market closes, that that September three month performance, even then, if you really want to bring it out here, even this range we're at, even a the lower end, 320, that is the year-to-date performance. That's where we opened at 2020. So depending on three months before the election, even year-to-date on the election, that is pretty much the market's prediction as far as who is going to win. So this is where things are getting a little bit interesting here. And this is what I'm saying. This next few days, all it really takes is one big move. So the question is, do you get one big move tomorrow? Is it smaller and then a bigger move Tuesday? How is it going to play out? But watching that is going to be key. Now, this is where everything gets interesting because you're going to see a lot of earnings companies. Again, there's going to be a lot of companies. They're smaller. They're not going to be the same Amazon, Apple, huge market cap. However, there's a lot of bigger companies that collectively could have a, a pretty significant impact. So watch for that. But now this is where it's going to get interesting trading the rest of the week because you get till Monday, Tuesday. That's going to be election related. But then Fed on Wednesday and Thursday and earnings. The question is, after the election, what sort of movement or information do we get that might be able to free the market out of his own? So there is going to be a lot of moving pieces and there's still a lot of stuff happening. So this is going to be the main outline for this week. As far as everything else, there isn't anything global too crazy. Again, it's going to be like PMIs and manufacturing numbers. However, UK went on lockdown again. Boris Johnson, again, we saw what happened with Germany and all those last week. I really, really, really think we need to pay attention to overseas. But the question is, 
the timing. So may happen later than sooner, but I want to see how that plays out this week along with the other stuff like oil and all of that. So finally, everything after that is earnings. I will cover this list more in depth day by day. Pretty much when we get to the day on the watch list, we will go over all of the specific companies. But as far as tomorrow in the morning, you're going to get a few companies that you won't be able to play in the morning, but after hours, you're going to get PayPal, Skyworks, and then a few other big ones. You know, Anet's pretty decent, AMC. Again, the list is it's very, very sporadic this earnings season where it's going to be like some companies can move, some industries are worth playing, and some don't. But again, you guys know how we've played Anet in the past. So if you guys have anything or you guys see any companies too, post them below. But that's going to be for Monday after hours, Tuesday. You'd have to set up for these on Monday if you want to play them in the morning, uh, Tuesday. But you're going to get W, McKesson, Race, Humana, Cisco, and Fox. Uh, again, I think some of the ones like Humana, you're also going to get Cigna and all that throughout the week. Those could be good. But then after hours, but you're not getting too many big companies. And all of a sudden, later throughout the week, Wednesday and Thursdays, the Babas, the Ubers, the Rokus, Peloton, Square, those are all going to start coming out. So really Wednesday, Thursday is going to be the big day. Everything in between is, is going to be interesting. So we won't see these earnings really cloud the election. But then after the election with the Fed, uh, we want to see the effect of the market and if it allows us to kind of move from there. So we have all the companies. We'll be going over these. It's still going to be exciting. Anything can happen. I hope you guys got your budgets balanced and the armor is on. But that is pretty much it. So let us get into the plays. <laughs> so right off the bat, uh, I have a few different plays. Uh, surprisingly, I, I kind of want to get a little bit aggressive here. Even then, right when the election comes in, the key is going to be watching if there is a clear cut move pretty much coming into Wednesday. And whatever that move is, I'm probably going to follow it. So watch for there's going to be a pump fake and you know, pop lock and drop it. It's probably going to have a lot of reactions once we get more information. But whichever range it starts pointing uh, wherever the momentum of the money starts aligning i'd watch out for that so that being said some of these plays i'm really going to be setting up both ways but i know what i am going to be looking for i got a mix of both earnings plays uh right here three of them for earnings and the rest is just the overall watch fang apple the continuations from last week and how do those earnings play out how does that factor in if you start to see an election a move or anything like that so it's really just going to be playing both sides of those but don't forget you had the biggest earnings last week they still need to continue and then now once you get the market freeing up it's going to really really give a clear-cut sign and that is hopefully where we should be able to snipe some deals so i am going to be watching apple as far as the other ones for the rest of this week and plays i want to look at i want to look at hopefully being able i'm, I'm assuming that the election might free up some of the IV to run up a little bit, but if I could get a square strangle and make money on the run up, I will see again. All, all of these, I have to check. It really depends how we open tomorrow. If there's too much risk and there's too much going on, I, pr I pretty much won't look at these plays, but we will see. But I like Square for earnings. Again, they're going to be reporting this week. I like Uber. Again, I like them both ways. Any of these companies, I think they can move a lot. I think they could go in either direction. So the idea is kind of what we did last week, the last few weeks, go small, but be able to pay them both, both ways. I like them. And then finally, Qualcomm. I think this one might have a run up if there's bullishness it's usually really heavily affected by the market qualcomm's kind of a slower mover but they had some positive news last week i like how they were setting up and they have earnings this week too so i'm going to be looking at qualcomm on the upside if they get into an earnings run up mode or i would even just look to play them both ways so pretty simple as far as you know the other plays and even coming to the election i just want to ride out the rest of any of the plays we have we had those old spy puts but the real strategy is going to be the minute you let the market pick a direction after the election because nothing has happened leading up to it obviously there will be a move in the next two days but following that it's really going to just be positioning with the wave once we see some of the winners and losers it's going to occur in waves as far as who the winners and losers will be but as far as everything else there's still going to be a lot of plays tomorrow anything could happen i am going to be looking at some of the other plays we're in we have that teledoc that was an earnings play that one's up i'm going to be watching them banks have my attention as well uh, if i'm going to give even two industries to watch this week even related to the election banking and healthcare. So I want to see what happens here, but UNH, Cigna, all of those companies, those are going to be reporting this week. I think all of them are at very interesting levels. You could kind of see how they've moved uh, on the 100 day, but you should even look at them on the yearly. But they closed green on Friday when we had a really all around red day and watch for another down Friday, down Monday. But also now the banks, they did very, very good as well too. So watch any of the banks. Again, watch Apple, Amazon, Facebook, all of these for the continuations. I'm really going to watch Square, Uber. Those are my two favorite ones. Baba as well. They're going to be reporting. Uh, I wouldn't really call these my favorite.
favorite, but if we do start to see anything escalate volatility wise, I like Baba and then even Zoom. I think this one's going to be interesting in any of these growth names because again, just what we learned from earnings last week, that whole idea of guidance and everything overseas, I don't that that is not going to disappear anytime soon. So some of these bigger names, they, they could represent a lot more. So I want to see how they play out. And even then, don't forget about some of those other names like Pinterest and some of the other earnings runups we saw. Watch Boeing. I sold out of my final play there. Again, they're post earnings, but this is, I mean, I don't think they've broken this level in a while. So it could, it could put them in another range. I might even want to look to sell premium on this. We'll see. But again, bigger Dow component, but it's interesting to see how it's playing with the rest of the market. And then finally, watch the UVXY. That is going to be the key, but also relating it to the dollar again. TLT, maybe if Powell says anything on Thursday, you guys might get your play. But if anything, the real gauge with the market, I think it's going to be a mix of UUP and UVXY. I think UVXY is the main driver to see how options are going to pick up and it's kind of showing you the velocity. But then also, I think the dollar is kind of showing how surprised people are when it pops. So keep an eye out for that. This is going to be one of the most pivotal weeks. We've already came a very, very long way. So I hope you guys are ready. Don't be too jumpy. It's better to be late than wrong. And I hope your head is in the game. But that is your watch list, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you're healthy, ready to go. Make sure you post your watch list. Make sure we see you there in the morning. I need the armor on. I need the helmet shining. I need you to get ready for the most pivotal week, and you need to take advantage of it. doesn't matter what happened any time this year. You're here now at the moment, but the cold loves you. I love you. I'll see you in the morning. Let's go. <laughs>